Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to explain you MOSFET. Before I start with explanation, let me tell you first how many things that I am going to cover in this video. So, in this video, I will be discussing about basics initially. Then, I will be discussing about different types of MOSFET. After that, I will show you basic structure of N-channel MOSFET. Then, I will be discussing about how working is there with N-channel MOSFET. And at last, I will explain you few essential key points on MOSFET. Those key points, that is very essential. The reason is, I have seen some frequent questions in interviews. So, I will be discussing about those key points at last. Let us try to understand first, what are the basics which is there with MOSFET. See, MOSFET means Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. So, using MOS structure, we are having transistor that is MOSFET, Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. This MOSFET is having four terminals, gate, substrate, drain and source. In MOS structure, we are having two terminals, gate and substrate. To form a transistor using MOS structure, we need two additional terminals, drain and source. I will show you that in structure, so that will give you more clarity about it. This MOSFET that we form using MOS structure, the structure of MOS transistor is symmetrical to drain and source. That you will get to know in structure, I will show you how it is symmetrical, right. When we talk about different types of MOSFET, then in general there are two types. One is enhancement type of MOS transistor and second is depletion type of MOS transistor. So, here you need to understand how enhancement type of MOS transistor that is there with us. See, in enhancement type of MOS transistor, there is no conducting channel by default, right. By default, there is no conducting channel. To have a conduction, there has to have channel formation and that channel formation that we have it with the use of biasing voltage. So, in enhancement type of MOS transistor, it has no conducting channel at zero gate bias voltage. To have a conduction, you need to apply gate bias voltage. That I will show you in working, so that will give you more clarity. In depletion type of MOS transistor, it has conducting channel at zero gate bias. So, when we fabricate depletion type of MOS transistor at that time, we are providing default channel, right. So, because of that default channel, there will be conduction in between drain and source. You see, I have told you there are four terminals, gate, substrate, drain and source. So, our agenda is to control conduction in between drain and source, right. And that conduction that we control with the biasing at gate terminal. So, in enhancement type of MOS transistor, we do not have default channel. Channel is created with the biasing voltage. And in depletion type, there is default conducting channel, right. Now, let us try to understand first how basic structure is there with MOSFET. Here, I will be going to consider enhancement type MOSFET. In enhancement type MOSFET, we do not have conducting channel at zero gate bias. So, if you observe, see this is the basic structure which we have it with N channel MOSFET. If you observe, see here we are having gate terminal, then metal oxide semiconductor that is our MOS structure that we have. In this MOS structure, see we are diffusing N plus region where at one N plus region we are having drain terminal. And at second N plus region, we are having source terminal. So, if you consider this much portion only, then that is simply MOS capacitor or you can say that is simply MOS structure. But in MOS structure, if you diffuse another two terminals by placing N plus inside this P type substrate, you can have drain and source. So, in total, this is what MOS fat. And here, you see in P type substrate, in P type substrate, here we will be forming channel, right. Here we will be forming channel and that channel formation will happen with the use of gate bias voltage. See here, by default, there is no channel. 
by default there is no channel means if gate voltage is zero then there is no channel over here means this mosfet is enhancement type mosfet while as if you talk about depletion type mosfet so in that here in this p type substrate there has to have n type material over here means default channel will be there right so that is how differences are there here in majority of cases you will be observing we are using enhancement type mosfet only right so here i'm just telling you the basic difference in depletion type there will be channel by default while in enhancement type there is no channel by default for a channel formation we need to apply gate bias voltage right now let me explain you how all those things are happening like how channel formation happens how conduction happens right so to understand that let us try to understand first cutoff region so in cutoff region first of all you need to understand one thing see in cutoff region there is no conduction in between source and drain in cutoff region there is no conduction in between source and drain right so here if you observe vgs gate to source voltage if it is greater than threshold voltage what happens here there is a formation of channel you see here there is a formation of channel but as drain and source that is connected to ground as drain and source that is connected to ground here there is no conduction in between drain and source right means this mosfet that is there in cutoff region so first of all we need to form a channel and basic condition is what to form a channel you need to apply this gate bias voltage as per it should be greater than threshold voltage if you give gate bias voltage greater than threshold voltage then there will be formation of inversion layer over here so in p type substrate in p type substrate you can observe inversion layer formation that we that is there with us right so through this inversion layer there is a possibility of drain to source conduction right but as drain to source we are not applying any biasing voltage there is no conduction as there is no conduction this n channel mosfet that is there in cutoff region now let us try to understand first how this mosfet can come into linear region so in linear region what we will be doing is we will be applying gate bias voltage which is greater than threshold voltage so obviously there will be formation of channel you can observe there is a formation of channel but here you see difference is here we are applying drain voltage with respect to source so vds that we are applying so as drain terminal is positive with respect to source if you observe carefully in this channel thickness of channel at the end of drain is less compared to the thickness at source so thickness of that channel inversion layer so that is less over here and that is more over here right and see as vd is positive here there will be flow of current in this direction and that current is id that current is drain current right and you will be observing electrons will be flowing through this channel electrons will be flowing through this channel so here current is id right and electrons will be flowing through this channel right electrons will be flowing through this channel in this direction right and this variation of current that will happen with respect to variation of drain voltage so here vd and id will change linearly and here you can say see this this channel is having finite resistance so linear change in voltage and current will happen that's why this region is linear region in which we will be forming channel with the use of gate gate to source voltage which will be greater than threshold voltage and as if drain voltage is positive with respect to source and if it is having smaller value then there will be flow of current as you can observe over here and this current will vary linearly with respect to voltage right and you can observe one more thing inversion layer thickness that is smaller over here and it is larger over here 
but as inversion layer is there as inversion layer is there there is no drift current drift current means there is no need of enforcement to have a flow of current right naturally it is flowing because of channel now let us try to understand how things will happen in threshold of linear region so in threshold of linear region what will happen see here we will be increasing drain voltage so as you increase this drain voltage what will happen channel thickness over here that will decrease and channel thickness over here that is more right so as channel thickness over here that decreases at some point at some voltage here channel thickness will be point only and that point is peak top point when you increase drain bias voltage over here at that time channel thickness that that will decrease over here right i have told you over here you see because of vd here channel thickness is less here more now if you increase further vd channel thickness will decrease and at some voltage this at some voltage this thickness will be point so that point is pitch of point right and at that time whatever voltage that we apply at drain that is vd saturation right that voltage is saturation biasing voltage that is saturation biasing voltage that is a threshold of linear region right so this is pitch of point right and you can observe here this channel this channel is inversion layer right so that channel is having higher width over here and it is point over here now see this is what threshold of linear region now after that if you further increase if you further increase this drain voltage then what will happen it will go in saturation mode now in saturation mode what will happen in saturation mode this pitch of point now that is getting shifted over here you can observe this pitch of point that is getting shifted over here now as pitch of point that is getting shifted over here now current will flow in this direction you see current will flow in this direction id will be happening in this direction right electrons will be moving in this direction but here see this is pitch of region this space is pitch of region this space is pitch of region let me take another color so you will be having more clarity about how things are there this space that is pitch of region now in pitch of region there will be potential drop right there will be potential drop why the reason is now now there is a need of enforcement to have a transition of electrons from here to here now there is no channel over here so there will be drift which is required for that there will be a requirement of some enforcement and because of that there will be somewhat potential drop that will happen in this pinch of region how much potential drop that will happen that will be that will be depending on this space right and that is also depending on see vds and vd saturation if you increase vds then this space will increase right so voltage drop over here voltage drop in pitch of region let me mention that voltage drop voltage drop that will be how much vds minus vd saturation so now you will be observing as you increase vds this difference that will increase so that is getting dropped over here right and you will be observing id current that stays constant so now current will not increase further right and that voltage drop that will happen in pinch of region right that's why you can say it is saturation region why the reason is here current is constant even though in, you increase voltage right so that is how different regions are there i hope now you are having fair enough idea like how exactly working is that right now let us discuss about some essential key points on mosfet so as i have told you in enhancement type mosfet channel formation is required for conduction of current between source and drain right you see here we are forming channel and that we form it by gate bias voltage so gate bias voltage should be greater than threshold voltage to have a formation of channel right so here in enhancement mosfet we are applying biasing voltage to form a channel while in depletion mosfet there is already channel 
now as channel is there if you apply small voltage in between drain and source current will flow so in depletion mosfet we need to stop current by applying biasing over here right while in enhancement to flow current we need to give biasing so that is how things are different right so in depletion mosfet biasing is required to stop current conduction between source and drain while in enhancement biasing is required to have channel formation after that conduction will happen in depletion we need to stop conduction with the use of biasing voltage that is how things are different so obviously you can say enhancement mosfet that that will be there in majority of device right this depletion mosfet that won't be there in majority of device why the reason is if you if if, if you apply voltage if you apply biasing to stop current then you will be wasting more power right and that's why you will be observing in majority of devices enhancement mosfet that has been used right so gate bias voltage controls current conduction of mosfet so drain to source current conduction that is been controlled with the use of gate bias whether channel is there or not that depends on gate bias right that's why one can say mosfets are voltage controlled devices right so that is how all the basics that is there with mosfet probably i think now you can reply to any question based on fundamentals of mosfet how it is functioning still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video